Okay, we found a spot along the creek that's got some real good velocity and good water motion here. We found an ideal spot. It just sits between these two rocks, just perfect. Get some real strong flow through this thing. Which is what we really like because the, uh, the Sidewinder, the stronger the water current, the better. The better it concentrates and classifies that material in these curves. You can get a good look down in here with the sunlight hitting this. You can really see the spiraling effect in these corners and curves. We got Jerry here uh, grabbing some samples right out of the box right while it's in operation. And like I mentioned before, if you use a suction device, a nozzle, or some type of a large syringe, or even a scoop, and you're careful, you can pull the gold right out of these curves without having to stop the box. You can periodically sample, see what kind of quality material you've got. But this is the amazing thing about this, people. It's that, uh, it does not require riffles. This model, this test model here just has a black mat along the bottom. That's all you really need. Those ribs are plenty to capture that small gold. Any large nuggets are easy to catch in, in basically any kind of box. But what we're trying to demonstrate is that you can capture that really tiny, tiny stuff with ease. This model just works off of nothing but the natural creek flow. I got the flared head here with a slight taper. It helps it increase the velocity here at the neck and it starts sweeping as it travels the box. This is Jerry, he's come down with us today in this test for this particular model. This is Sharon's brother. He's pretty excited about this machine. He's helping us do some testing and uh, we're kind of playing around with it a little bit fine-tuning it, trying real hard to find ways to make that gold escape, and it won't. It catches it every single time. No, 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 no. Thanks again for watching, folks. Every so often, you might want to keep checking our uh, videos that we're going to be submitting. Like I say, uh, test three of the pump bed model is going to be up here with a three inch suction dredge nozzle. We should have that video out in another week or so. You don't want to miss it. We'll be throwing volume down through that seven foot model at velocities that have never been done through a sluice box and we're going to show you the gold. Keep posted. Thanks a lot.